Um, hey, I'm Matthias. I'm the founder and owner of No Shadow Limited, a Christmas company. I'm from Shanghai in China. And my message to everyone is be happy right now. Sweet. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitten Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Matthias, thanks a lot for doing this, man. My pleasure, my pleasure. Where are you from? And if you had to explain what your business does to a seven-year-old child, what would you say? Uh, where am I from? I'm from Shanghai. Uh, you know, I, um, I mix French, uh, German, Dutch, but uh, I don't, you know. Most... Well, that's like all of Europe, man. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I've been <laughs> 20 years in, in, in uh, Greater China. I think it's, it's, it's hard to pick points where I'm from. Sweet. And if you had to explain what your business does to a seven-year-old child? Um, to a seven-year-old child, I would say that I work uh, closely with Santa to make uh, everybody happy over Christmas. So you work with Santa? I work with Santa. Yeah. What do you do with Santa? I make Christmas lights. That's what okay. I do. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So you make all the shiny things they see in Christmas? I make them and more. Yeah. Sweet. What got you started? What got me started? Uh, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Uh, it was already in my family. Uh, my parents were entrepreneurs. I just always knew I would have my own business, I think, for forever. Um, and uh, at some point, the, the last company I was with, I, um, I quit and I was either going to do an MBA or start my company. And I had an ex colleague who offered me to, to join him to start my business. And I said yes. And so, there we go. That was 30 years ago. Tell me, what keeps you up at night and what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? Uh, so, uh, what keeps me up at night is definitely when I have a question about myself, about my business, about where I go, about um, important issues we need to solve, you know, that could um, yeah, affect our bottom line, affect tomorrow. So issues about the bottom line and about progress of the company? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes issues about the immediate tomorrow that we need to solve, and sometimes it's just uh, yeah the uncertainty about but uh, what's uh, in a year from now. Sweet. And on the flip side, what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? What gets you really excited? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. I like that. That's the first time we've had that. Um, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started this journey? I guess what I know now is definitely uh, that uh, people make a huge difference. Uh, definitely that. What I know now, uh, nothing matters more than health uh, oh, nice. to me. Uh, that definitely money doesn't make me happy. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. During this journey, you might have made some mistakes. Uh, what are some of these mistakes that you can share that others can learn from? I try not to think things about as, as in uh, mistakes, uh, because I try not to look back at the past. Um, could have done things uh, better, yeah, every day. I think definitely hiring uh, good people, which I'm still working on, is definitely a thing that I should have done much, much earlier. Learning Chinese, you know, I should have learned Chinese when I had the time and I had the energy. Mm -hmm. Looking back now, what are some of the moments that you really, in your entrepreneurial journey, that you're really most proud, happy, content, satisfied with? The one is to have been true to my word, like towards my partners, my employees, my my clients, my suppliers. Proud of um, have come out of difficult situations, um, whatever they are. Proud to still become a better person. Okay, so constant improvement, living by your values and respect. Yeah. Yeah, sweet, sweet, nice. The Tim Ferriss question. So if you had a billboard and you could put out a message to humanity, what would that message be? I would say be happy right now. Nice. How has EO made a difference in your personal, family, community or business life? Uh, I think EO for now has been mostly uh, has been has impacted my personal life. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, personal business life is the mm -hmm. same, but uh, has impacted me emotionally. Uh, just getting a new, uh, very very strong um, group of people that matter to me in my life. Uh, they've been there at moments I needed them. 
and uh, made me be there for them, which is also, I think, very powerful and very, very helpful for yourself. Um, uh, give me a new, a new energy uh, to keep me going, uh, to make me want more and want new things. Uh, give me a lot of perspective. They help me also. Um, in my family life, I mean, I'm single. I'm not married, so I don't. Uh, but still, it helped me to have uh, people I trust to talk to about uh, personal issues and family issues. Yeah, nice. Uh, so yeah. trust, power, perspective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sweet. Matthias, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. pleasure.